Gamers, January is packed with exciting emulator updates you can't miss. From WinLater 9's game-changing features to the comeback of Citroen, Sudachi, and Ryujinx, the emulator scene is on fire. Plus, we've got the scoop on the upcoming Nintendo Switch 2 and GameHub, your ultimate mobile gaming solution. Let's dive into these epic updates and see what's shaping the future of emulation. All right, let's get started. WinLater 9 just dropped, bringing incredible new features like the Vortec graphics driver, designed to enhance performance for Windows games on Android. The update also introduces the ability to install components, enable force full screen mode, and includes an updated Box 64, making the experience smoother, faster, and more powerful than ever. Whether you're playing classics or modern PC titles, WinLater 9 pushes the boundaries of Android gaming. Citroen emulator is back and better than ever. The rumors about Citroen shutting down? Totally false. Despite months of silence and setbacks like server failures, DDoS attacks, and delays, Citroen is making a triumphant return. Thanks to backups and the hard work of its developer, Zep, the emulator is bouncing back stronger than ever, with jaw-dropping updates like groundbreaking Android support and full Steam Deck compatibility. Olympus, a PS3 emulator inspired by RPCS3, the leading PS3 emulator for PCs, allows you to play PlayStation 3 games on mobile devices. Currently, Olympus is in its alpha version and is available only for internal testing, developed by K1R4. Keep in mind, Olympus requires a very high-end device like the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, but other chipsets like MediaTek and Exynos are also supported. It's still in the development phase, but the dev team has given us access to test it via their Discord. Sudachi emulator is back and better than ever. A couple of months ago, the Sudachi devs announced they were discontinuing the project, but guess what? They've changed their minds and brought it back with fresh updates. Sudachi was a favorite emulator for specific users, and I've heard some people say it's still better than Citroen and Nyushu. But here's the real question. Can it compete with Citroen or Nyushu? It's going to be a tough fight. The unthinkable has happened. Ryujinx, the Nintendo Switch emulator we all thought was dead, has made an epic comeback. After a shocking shutdown that sent waves through the emulation community, Ryujinx has risen from the ashes, and it's back better than ever. Currently, only the PC version is available on their GitHub, and rumors suggest that an Android version will be uploaded soon. This is the most exciting and promising start to the year for emulators. The Nintendo Switch 2 is set to release in 2025, featuring a larger 7.9-inch display, redesigned magnetic Joy-Con controllers with motion control support, a second USB-C port, and an improved kickstand. It maintains backward compatibility with the original Switch game library and introduces enhanced hybrid play options. The console's reveal teased a new Mario Kart game, Game Hub from GameSeer, your all-in-one gaming solution crafted by the legends at GameSeer. This incredible platform isn't just another emulator like WinLater, it's a next-gen powerhouse. Run PC games on your Android device, stream titles through cloud gaming, or even use it as a PC remote. And that's not all. It doubles as a gamepad and features intuitive touchscreen controls. Whether you're diving into offline classics or battling it out in online hits, GameHub delivers flawless performance. GameHub is available on their official site. The exact pricing for Grand Theft Auto 6 GTA 6 has not been officially announced by Rockstar Games. However, industry speculation suggests that the standard edition may be priced between $70 and $100 USD. This potential increase reflects rising development costs and aligns with recent trends in 8AA game pricing. Special editions, offering additional content, could be priced higher, possibly exceeding 100 US dollars. Mandarin 3DS emulator is already a solid choice for 3DS gaming on Android. Mandarin stands out for its smooth performance, compatibility with a growing list of titles, and user-friendly interface. But the real excitement lies in its upcoming updates, as revealed on their official Discord. Soon, Mandarin will introduce multiplayer support, enabling players to connect and enjoy 3DS classics together. Additionally, a chat feature will be added, making in-game communication seamless and fun. The emulator is also working on implementing sample shading, a Vulkan-based extension that enhances rendering quality for a more immersive gaming experience. Another contender for 3DS gaming is Azahar, 
an exciting collaboration between Lime 3 ds and Pablo MK7 Citra Fork. Their mission is to create the definitive platform for the future development of Citra, a beloved but now discontinued 3DS emulator. Azahar aims to preserve the legacy of Citra while pushing boundaries with improved accuracy and performance. With plans to optimize compatibility and ensure smooth gameplay even on mid-range Android devices, Azahar is quickly becoming a beacon of hope for 3DS fans. That's it for today, gamers. Let me know your thoughts on these exciting updates and which emulator or game you're most hyped about. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more epic content, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Until next time, keep gaming and stay awesome.